Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on solving simultaneous equations where one unknown has equal positive coefficients. Now simultaneous equations are when we have more than one equation and involving more than one variable. So in this particular case we've got two equations involving two variables, x and y. And we want to find out what x is and what y is such that both of these equations are true at the same time. Now we're going to look at a method called elimination. And the way that elimination works is to either add or subtract the equations to make either x or y disappear. Now if we just number these equations, let's just call this equation 1 and this equation 2. Now can you see that the number in front of these y's here are the same? And if they are the same, let's find out what happens when we subtract the two equations. And I'll explain what I mean by that. Now, what do I mean by subtracting the two equations? Well, if I do this left-hand side of the equation and I subtract the left-hand side of the second equation, let's see what happens. Well, 5x minus the 3x would give you 2x. If I did the 2y minus that 2y, well, that's 0y. That just disappears, so we don't have anything at all. And then finally, we have the 24 minus the 16, which is 8. And now that's great, because by subtracting these two equations, I've managed to get rid of this y. And we're just left with a single equation involving just one variable. Now, if 2x is 8, what is x? Well, we can just divide both sides of the equation by 2 to get rid of this 2 on from the x. 2x divided by 2 is just x. The divide by 2 cancels out that 2 there and 8 divided by 2 is 4. So we've now worked out what x is in these two equations. But we need x and we need the value of y. So what we now do is substitute this value of x of 4 into either one of the equations. So we're going to substitute into either equation. So I'm just going to choose equation 1 to substitute this 4 into. So if I do 5 times 4, that's going to be 20. We're adding 2y and that is equal to 24. And now we just have a linear equation we need to solve. So the y has been multiplied by 2 and then we've added 20 to it and that gave us 24. Now do you remember we undo the things around the y to, to work out what y is. So we want to get rid of this plus 20 here, so I'm going to minus 20, subtract 20 from both sides. That gets rid of this 20 to leave 2y, and 24 minus 20 is 4. And then to get rid of that times by 2 there we just divide both sides by 2, and that means that y is equal to 2. Now let's just check that with the second equation. If x is 4 and y is 2, well, 3 times 4, if x is 4, is 12. 12 plus 2 times 2, 12 plus 4 is 16. So that works. So this value of x and this value of y works in both of these equations. Let's do it for this second equation here. Now, can we see that these y terms are different, but the number in front of these x's, which is effectively 1, is the same. And again, if we subtract these two equations, these x's are going to cancel this time, rather than the y's. So again, we're going to do equation 1 minus equation 2. So we do this minus this, x minus x is just nothing, it just disappears. 5y minus 2y is equal to 3y. And 14 minus 5 is 9. So if 3y is 9, then y is going to be 9 divided by 3, which is 3. And again, we just substitute that value of y into either equation, the first or the second, it doesn't matter. So if I substitute into equation 1, I'm going to get 1x, so just x, plus 5 times y, 5 times 3 is 15, is equal to 14. And then to get rid of that plus 15, I'm going to subtract 15 from both sides of this equation. That gets rid of this plus 15 here to leave just x. And then 14 minus 15 is minus 1. And again, we could check that with both equations, but I know that's going to be right.